Today's the day, so stand up and shout. G-G-O, you got to play to win. G-G-O, let the dance begin. You and your team, keep getting better. You're good alone, but better together. G-G-O, you got to play to win. G-G-O, football. In the very last moment of the game, Myth performs to his potential. He uses Roaring Flame Strike and leads Barefoot into the final. To figure out a way to defeat Tyrant, the members of Barefoot go to watch the match between Team Mirror and Team Wolf Army. Without the pressure of elimination, both teams play an exciting game. Isaac discovers a theory of happy football is to forget about the result and focus on the match. Don't fight over it with me! I'm going to be Isaac this time! Well, fine then. I get to be Sean. Whoa. Never mind. I want to be Tyrant now! Hmm? Hey, look! It might oh. be them! Huh? Hey, Whoa. it's Mr. Timmy! Uh, Timmy, uh, how confident are you about winning the GGO National Tournament? Team Barefoot's opponent is the uh -huh. name of the Devils. Are you worried about it? Or can you tell us, Timmy, if you have a secret weapon already? I... I... well, I... Oh, I, life is uh, so unpredictable! I, All these reporters want to talk to us! I think that's Carl's voice! Carl, come out and do an interview with us! An interview? Oh, man, I never imagined this! I'm very low profile, you know. You don't mind me being so casual, do you? Not at all! Just do an interview with us! <sighs> if you insist, I guess I'm happy to oblige. Oh, wow! There are so many reporters! I don't know how I should pose! <laughs> Uh. So, Carl, just how confident is Team Barefoot going into this GGO National Tournament Final? <laughs> we are, of course, somewhat confident, I can tell you. But let me be modest here, especially with you. I don't actually even know how to spell the word lose. Yeah, I think you meant to use the word shame, Carl. Barefoot is a famous team. Since when did we start giving out random interviews? <laughs> uh, but since you guys seem to be so sincere, I guess I'll be happy to do the interview as Barefoot's manager. <laughs> You hey, can't you're the manager. manager. Please, Please say, say something, something for us. us. Oh, that's just great. Cat stealing a spotlight yet again. You're not much better than her. Whoever interviews me will have my autograph. All the more reason not to go there. Why would I want that? I only took a picture of him because I thought he was Isaac. What are you trying to say? So none of you want my autograph? Then I'll give you something better. Two of them. Uh, excuse me, sir. Oh, hi there. Do you want my autograph? I'll tell you what. I'll give you a special fan privilege. If you join my fan club right now, you'll get this poster of me. Uh, uh, thanks, but no thanks. What I wanted is for you to help me to get Isaac's and Sean's autograph. How's that supposed to make me feel? I've got a barefoot too, you know? <laughs> Give me a break. The soul of barefoot, apart from me, of course, is Sean. Huh? <laughs> Sean is truly incredible. Oh, 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 oh. can even calculate the speed of an opponent's tackle to complete an impeccable pass. Man, what precision this guy has. Isaac and Sean were right. He's really hard to beat. I think I can finally get it after watching it for the 50th time. Let's watch it a few more times, because I'm not really positive yet. We uh, don't have time, you idiot! We're better off looking at statistics!
match against Mir, they haven't given up a goal yet, and they win by huge margins. Yeah, yet you were telling those reporters you can't spell the word lose. Of course I would tell the reporters that, and I was telling them the whole truth. I really don't know how to spell the word lose. Uh, but even Mir, who's so strong, lost by 6-2. Why are you surprised? Didn't we watch their game against Mir together? Tyrant even took over control and was so strong. Did you leave your brain at home for why? You don't even know how to spell the word lose, so it's you who's the brainless one around here. Don't be so worried about losing to Tyrant quite yet, you guys. So have you thought of a way to play against them yet? No, I'm telling you not to worry about Tyrant yet, because we have to worry about his subordinate, number 10 first. You know, he's tough. Darkness's Phantom Twister Strike alone is testimony to their capabilities. Just this move alone is more than we can handle. So I think it's best to take things one step at a time and deal with the rest of it later. How can you be so calm? Even a tough battle can be an exciting showdown, so take it easy, little dude. Oh man, we're doomed. We're gonna lose 20 nil this time. Ah, uh, I'm back. That was rough. <sighs> wow, Sean, what happened to you? Uh, it was those fans. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, I know what it feels like to be harassed by fans. Just today in school. Oh, man, it was unbearable. Exactly. When did fans harass you? It was more like you were harassing your fans, wasn't it? Could you just be quiet for once? So, Sean, what did you get just now? Did your magazine? What's this? Oh, man, come on, we're rivals. How come they made the cover page and we didn't? What's the big deal? And if they're interviewing the name of the devils, shouldn't they be talking to Tyrant? Why is the interview with Ten? Because Tyrant never likes to reveal anything about his past, and he always plays the role of mastermind behind the scenes. So going by his title, number 10 is his head controller. So then what exactly is the point of this magazine again? So we can read number 10's interview? Why would you want to read that? That's right, he isn't the superstar. Actually, guys, I already knew Tyrant's team before this GGO tournament. I had a situation that kind of involved Shadow. Shadow? Well, see you guys, I lost to number 10 three years ago. Huh? Back then, he hadn't joined the name of Devils yet, and he didn't go by number 10. His real name then was Lori, and his own team went by the name Morik. My team Perseus was brand new on the scene. I don't care how you act, I'm gonna score! Shadow, don't just stand there, go and tackle him! Shadow, I said go and tackle him! Didn't you hear me? Yes, but... Go and tackle him now! If you hadn't given the wrong order, we might not have scored. My orders are never wrong. It's the footballer who defies orders that's wrong! No wonder Shadow's hair is covering his left eye all the time, like he's pretending to look cool. So his eyes really, uh... uh... I thought Shadow was an excellent goalkeeper in that match, and I firmly believed his judgment was correct. So that's why you repaired him and kept him for yourself? Gigio footballers may be for sale everywhere, but finding one that gets along with you is something that only comes by chance. That's right! Just like Myth and I, we play together as one. No one can separate a match made in heaven. That's right, but Shadow suffered too much damage that day. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't... 
couldn't get him back to 100%. I didn't know Shadow had such a tragic past. While I'm not skilled enough at player repairs to fix his eye yet, I guarantee that the rest of his capabilities are really top-notch. You guarantee, but didn't you say that after the match against Wolf Army, it would be hard to repair the damage he suffered? Why so confident now? I'm confident because I've already finished the repairs. Take a look. What? You repaired Shadow already? You see, Shadow's most serious injury was to the transmission in his magnetic core memory. So I removed the entire transmission system and replaced it with a newer and more powerful system. Now Shadow's wrists and legs are at least 30% stronger than they were before. Thank you, Isaac. You did a great job. Now he can counter Darkness's Phantom Twister Strike, right? Not quite yet, but if we can eliminate part of the spin that's on the shot before he catches it, then I think there's a chance he can save it. So you've thought of a way to do that? No, not yet. So you don't have any solutions? Then why are you so calm today, Isaac? Because I have discovered the truth about football. What truth's that? Uh? Hmm? Oh, it's Kit. Hello? Ah. Uh, it's really important. All right, Kit. <laughs> what, what, what is it? Well, Kat wants us to go back to your school right now for something important, and she says we should bring all of the GDO footballers with us. <laughs> I'm glad you came quickly. All right, here's why I called you all. This man is a reporter from GGO Football Magazine. He wants to do an interview with Team Barefoot. We might be next month's cover page. We <laughs> fell for, for it. it. We're as is gullible as a pair of, of stupid, stupid chips. chips. Oh, man, Cat, why didn't you tell us it was a reporter? Perfect timing, everyone. You got here right after we finished the interview with your behind-the-scenes commander. Huh? Behind-the-scenes behind the commander? The commander. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Ball? Ball? Hi, everyone! You practice yet today? Remember to study hard, too. Life's not only football. All right, I'm ready for my picture. Huh? Huh. Wait, Wait a minute. We're the star players here. Huh? We, we should, should definitely, definitely be in the, the picture as well. Get out of the way! Get in line for your turn! Take my picture! Don't bother with that! Take, take my mine. picture! Take mine! Get You two must be Isaac and Sean. I've been following your performances. Uh, thanks. thanks. Why don't we get started with Isaac? <laughs> you know, you should really start with our head controller, Sean. Isn't he just as handsome in person? Let me tell you a little secret. <laughs> he is actually my... Well, what I meant to say is maybe we will... <laughs> maybe we will... No, oh, there will be big news later. <laughs> Actually, I know that a magazine needs an explosive cover to capture the reader's attention. Well, all right for Team Barefoot's sake, I'll agree to the wedding photo with Sean for your magazine. Uh, well, we're not prepared for that. Oh, no? Then that's too bad, then. What shall we do? Oh, what a coincidence. There's a wedding gown in my school bag. Isn't that something? What an amazing twist of fate this is. Oh, wow. And here's a tuxedo. Could this be exactly what they call destiny? <laughs> Uh, uh. Hey, Isaac, what are you guys doing here? Nothing much, just doing an interview and a cover shoot. That's right, we do this a hundred times a year, so we'll ask what are you guys doing here? We came here looking for you all. Uh, I'm their manager. If you want their autographs, you'll have to ask me first. How about you come by our office tomorrow at 3? I didn't know we had an office. What's this about an autograph? I came here to learn from you. To uh -huh. learn? That's right. We want to play a match with you so that we can learn from you. I know we're not as strong as Team Barefoot, but as GGO footballers, all we really want to do is improve. And we can do that by playing against you. Oh, is that how learning is done these days? You guys should learn to be humble first. A friendly match? This is great. A friendly match before the national tournament final is very newsworthy. Oh, yes, right. Promoting the development of GGO football and cultivating the new generation is something Team Barefoot has always supported. I agree. You agree? Why should we play with them? Cat just wants to get on TV, you know that. Do you remember when I said that I discovered the truth about football? Well, guess what, Carl? This friendly match is just the chance we need in order to demonstrate it to you. Demonstrate what? I will agree to your match, but I have a little suggestion. Reshuffling the team.
Okay, Sean, how should I play? Just play like you always do. Have confidence. Hmm. Legend, try to stay parallel with Satellite. Break through if you can. Satellite, go hard. Our reporter's here. We can't lose. Oh. I will never lose to you. Let's wait and see. <laughs> we haven't played against each other for a long time, mate. <laughs> and now's your chance, mate. Omnidirectional tackle! My omnidirectional tackle won't let anyone get past, not even me. <laughs> Nucleus, great pass! Titan bulldoze no. on top of him now! Do you have to yell so loud? I'm sorry, I'm excited. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yes, Swift, tear his iron gate down. Do you think you can? Oh, my Swift boy is so incredibly handsome! <laughs> Can you not call me Swift Boy, please? A shot that bounces right in front of the goal could end up in any direction, so the goalkeeper must catch it firmly the instant it bounces up. It takes a footballer who really understands a goalkeeper to make a shot like that. Swift, good job! Matthew, you can do it! Go on, Swift Boy, I really love you! Shots were those. Phantom Twister Strike. Phantom Twister Strike. That's an insult to the name I gave it. Why is the spin so slow? Why are you all so slow? Have you been practicing or not? Y yes, sir, of course we practice. I already train 20 hours a day with them. If you're still this bad, then you're useless. If you still can't improve, then train 24 hours. But if we do that, sir... What's wrong? Is that too hard for you? Who do you think pays the bills around here? Y yes, sir. I promise I'll train much harder with darkness from now on, sir. Absolutely ridiculous. So did you guys really enjoy this match? I wish they were all like that. No, that's exactly the feeling I'm talking about, you guys. Feeling? What feeling do you mean, Isaac? That's what I was talking about earlier when I said I discovered the truth about football. You just experienced it. It's happy football! Happy football? Isaac, can you explain this a little more? I discovered the truth from watching the bronze medal match between Mirror and that wolf army. Since nobody cared about winning the bronze medal, everybody played that match with a smile on their face. They made it happy football! Huh? Uh... You still don't understand what I mean? Uh, well, I mean, it's... Uh... Oh, no, I've just gone crazy! Well, you all don't have to be so worried anymore. And why not, Uncle Ball? Because 
Now your team has an amazing commander. Uh. Uh. Oh, come on. Uh. All you wanted to do was steal the uh. spotlight. I am the commander, so I will think of a plan for you. After all, I worked really hard to find the flaw in the name of the devil strategy. Uh, you found out their flaw? Have you noticed anything in particular about the name of devil strategy? Uh, they win by a lot? Think deeper, uh, boy. Deeper? Well, uh, they're nasty guys. How exactly are they nasty? Well, except for the match they played against Mir, they always score a lot in the first half and then just toy with and insult their opponents in the second half. Yeah, that's it, small fry. And what are they exactly gaining by doing this? I understand. Every one of their footballers is absolutely superior in capability, but after scoring so many goals in the first half, their magnetic core memories become seriously overloaded. I get it. They act like they're just playing around with their opponents, but they're really buying time for their core memories to rest. I think I get it, too. Most of their opponents didn't understand this, and after they got such a beating in the first half, they just gave up in the second. They never thought they had a chance to win. So your real fight with the name of Devils actually begins in the second half. So in the first half, all you do is wear them down. If that's the case, then our key in the first half lies with, with Carl and your satellite, too. What? Me and satellite?